Okay, so I have already, uh, I think my slide is visible from your side. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So I think my slide is visible from your side. So I have already started some uh, the discussions of the switching converters. Okay, so where I have discussed about the switching realization, that portion I have already covered. Okay, so what are the different uh, types of uh, what are the different types of uh, switches? Okay, single pull, single throw. Then uh, differences with the single pull, double throw with your single pull. Uh, single pole single throw switches then different realizations of the switches of their operations means uh, quadrant operations of the switches okay so single quadrant operations then uh, double in case of double quadrant means current bidirectional switches are there voltage bidirectional switches also be there means uh, in current bidirectional switches the voltage is fixed means voltage there is no such changes of that voltage direction okay voltage is fixed only the current direction has changed has changing okay and in case of voltage bidirectional two quadrant switches so in that case you can observe that current direction is same but the voltage direction is changing okay so after that you can see that four quadrant switches are there okay so, so in case of four quadrant switches means both voltage direction as well as the current direction both uh, is changing with the uh, switching realizations okay so uh, one by one i have discussed the uh, i have discussed the realizations of their working principle okay so where i have discussed about the single quadrant switches okay and their types of different switches active switches passive switches scr okay and single quadrant switches active switches means there is definitely uh, external controlling unit is required but in case of passive switches there is no controlling terminal additional controlling terminal okay so then we can see the diode on that uh, i can you can observe that i is positive but v is negative because when the reverse voltage is applied so how much uh, amount of how much voltage it will be tolerated okay so that also be important part because of the rating of the diode okay so i have on some of the slides are there as related to the rating of the diode as per their name so then you can see the bjt and the igbt operations okay so where you can see that different it's an active switch because uh, you can see over that the controlling unit that current controlling units is already there okay so that portion i have already discussed uh, in my last to last class i'm just going to recap okay because there is two days gap okay that's why that recapping is there also in my last uh, class means last uh, Thursday class that recording is not uh, done actually some missed, some problem is occurred in MS team and I think some network issues is there that's why recording was not there okay so that's why I am just again recapping very firstly of that previous things okay so in this uh, active switch that controlling terminal you can see over that uh, simple uh, symbol of that MOSFET okay so um, in case of MOSFET that current are bidirectional okay so you can see reverse condition so on condition the current is positive y axis and reverse condition the reverse conduction okay current is negative y axis so voltage is fixed okay so voltage is fixed but current is uh, two directional okay so that's an example of the uh, uh, bidirectional current devices okay so um, uh, it's a MOSFET. So then we can realize we are taking some relation of the transistor and the diodes. Okay. So where that SPSP switches we are using. So after getting the characteristics, so we are selecting the solid state devices. Okay. So from the characteristics of switch A and switch B. So finally we have decided that switch A is an example of a transistor and switch B is an example of a diode okay so in that case after that the realization of the buck converter actually after replacing all those switches so you can see that's the basic structure of the buck converter okay so where that current of the switch a ia and ib the current of switch b okay so both of the cases you can see it's a positive ia and ib both of the positive but switches of when switches a you are getting vg it is in positive x axis but switch of condition that vg is it's a minus which is there it is in uh, negative uh, negative x uh, negative 
x axis okay so both of the operations is possible so current is positive positive but voltage are positive as well as a negative with the changing of the switching devices means so when switch a is off so we are getting the positive voltage appear across your mosfet when switch is switch b is off then you can see negative voltage appear across your diode okay after that we are using that current bi directional two coordinate switches okay that mean bi directional means body uh, body diode also be there across your bjt so in case of uh, in that case you can see when transistor is conducting so you are getting that positive current okay on and when diode is conducting okay you are getting that negative current it's so on conduct okay so instant Continuous IV characteristics you are getting. So BJT and anti-parallel diode relations are there. Okay, I think uh, um, uh, that's why you can say like the voltage is positive when it will be off. Okay, so V that positive voltage will be appeared over here, but current is both of the cases. First cases transistor conducting means on is positive, but when diode conducting it is negative. Okay, so you can say it's an active C because of the presence of C. Okay, so then two coordinate switches are there. So operating uh, zones, you can observe that switch on uh, state current and switch off state currents. Okay, both of the condition you can observe over here. Okay. So then after that, the MOSFET body diode is there. Okay, so in case of MOSFET body diode, okay, uh, MOSFET body diode, you can observe that uh, power MOSFET. Uh, you can see the characteristics of the power MOSFET. Okay, so definitely with the body diode, it's look like similar to your BJD. Okay, both of the cases current are the bidirectional. Okay, again the control switch C, G, C is there. So current is there first case from one to zero, and second case the voltage will be there. Okay, but there will be no control switch. Okay, no controlling, but uh, current will be reverse. Okay, with the reverse voltage, so you will getting that uh, diode will be conducting. Okay. First case, you can see that diode is not conducting because it's a uh, negative terminal is connected positive and P in junction is reverse bias. Okay, so it's a power MOSFET with the integral body diode. Okay, then after that you can see the use of the external diode. So after using that external diode, you are able to get the all the times you are getting that there is be only one direction. Okay, so first case you can see that diode. This diode will be conducting, and that body diode is not conducting. Okay, after the second interval, we are getting that the this diode will be conducting. Okay, the external diode, the prevention of the uh, conduction of the body diode. So by using that external diode, you can prevent the conduction of the body diode. Okay, so the simple inverter circuit that I have already discussed, I also ask you to. To prove that equation, so in my last class I also discussed about how to get that expression. I think all of you have solved it in your home, okay? To find out that expression, how is it coming? If you are averaging the voltage, automatically you can get that ex expressions of the duty cycle, okay? So uh, if you plot this value, so the nature of curve is coming y equal to mx uh, plus c, okay? So Vg is there, okay. Minus Vg is there, okay. So it is moving from minus Vg to plus Vg. Okay, so uh, that range minus Vg to minus Vg to plus Vg. Okay, so you get that slope one. Okay, slope is like that from zero to it is varying from zero to one. Okay, and you are getting that zero at the ohm duty ratio is 0.5. So I think you are getting that expression, and you have a bunch of it to your home. Then three phase voltage source inverters are there with your that portion I have also discussed some filter inductor are there okay and that loads are there okay so finally you are giving that DC as an input and that three phase bridge are as a uh, six B six uh, BJT modules are there so, okay so it's all the power BJT with the body diode okay so total six for individual leg to switches are there for individual leg and finally you are getting that current IA, IB and IC. Okay, so a, a switches must block the DC input and the conduct to the AC current. Okay, so that's why you are using, sometimes you are using one capacitor over here. Okay, so that is called one capacitor over here that is called DC link capacitor. Okay, so it's a electrolytic capacitor but DC. Okay, 
so it is switch then it is dc okay so the polarity capacitors are there sometime after that i have discussed about the bidirectional battery charger okay bidirectional battery charger and uh, discharger okay so where the dc dc converters with the bidirectional power flow okay so q1 q2 both are there so for the instant that means back mode and boost mode okay both of the operations are there you can see that uh, bus means bus dc link voltage and bat means battery voltage okay when battery voltage is greater than of your dc link voltage or the bus voltage dc bus voltage okay so definitely that battery will be discharging to the bus voltage okay so that means it's works like a uh, it's work like a what it's work like a it depends okay it's works like a back converter okay uh, sorry boost converter and the reverse thing also happen when your battery voltage bus voltage is greater than of your battery voltage so it behaves like a back converter okay now you can cascade that back and boost both of the converter finally you will get that bidirectional battery charger okay so bidirectional converter so input side one filter is there okay for maintaining that uh, for minimizing the ripples okay normally what happen we are using some of the rectifier circuit for getting that pulsating dc okay so by using the dc link capacitor we are nullifying all the we are able to nullifying all the uh, ripples okay of that input side ripples for uh, improving the input side power factor okay so diodes are there all the cases that body diodes are there so okay so when that q1 switch is working on condition but d2 will be working in q2 and d1 will be off when q2 will be working only d1 will be working okay so from that battery discharging that means d1 will be on so that means it's work like a boost converter and when the bus is charging to the battery that means q1 is working and d2 will be working so it's behave like a back converter so that's why bidirectional power flow is possible in this converter based on the switching logic the switching logic what will be the switching logic so because the controlling units are there for q1 switch and q2 switch that c1 and c2 okay so definitely when c1 will be when the c1 will be triggered c1 will be only triggered when that bus voltage is greater than of your battery voltage c2 will be triggered when your battery voltage is greater than of your bus voltage so Uh, that's the logic for your uh, that's the logic for your bidirectional flowing but instant for only one instant only uh, one mode of operation is possible in second instant the second mode of operation is possible simultaneously both of the both of mode of operation is not possible okay that's the basic philosophy of this bidirectional type of converter so here after that i have discussed about the voltage bidirectional two quadrant switches okay so in voltage bidirectional means current is fixed you can see over there so current is only the positive y axis the voltage is different okay so first one you can see transistor block the voltage when there is no such gate pulse okay so there is uh, no such gate pulse transistor is off means you are there is only the current is flowing through the diode but there is no such uh, there is no such gate pulse to the current control switch okay so definitely it will be off okay it will be off means you will get that voltage appear across your uh, v voltage appear across your devices okay so some of the voltage will be there but transistor is off without having any control signal the reverse thing also be there but control signal is provided to the transistor but <coughs> sorry uh, control signal is provided to the transistor but diode is on okay so that also be possible because of what uh, you can say like the normally operated in two quadrant switch okay so can conduct the positive on state current okay so in when positive on state current it can be uh, conducted but when it will off so it can block the positive and negative offset voltage means when uh, first case there is no signal to the control no control signal to the transistor then what happen the, you you can see the positive v is appear at across to the transistor in second instant because it's an instantaneous am i right okay so in second instant it will be negative it will be positive in that case maybe the control signal is there to the transistor but diode is your reverse pass the at that condition if you change the polarity then diode will block okay then 
uh, additional reverse voltage will be there that will block to the switch okay. so vjt series the realization and instantaneous that's why it is written instantaneous okay it's not the only ib characteristic it is instantaneous ib characteristics okay that means the polarity of that voltage is changing okay that's why it is called instantaneous the provided that the intended on state and the off state operating point lie on the composite iv characteristics okay then then the switch can be realized as shown so it is given the sci is such a device without controlling the turn off okay so sci is not applicable because in that case you have to use some additional uh, additional auxiliary circuit that is called the commutation circuit okay so for making it turn on okay turn off okay and because sci is a latching device okay only small very small with a pulse may turn on your switch uh, that means switch control uh, silicon control rectifier okay so or the sci okay but uh, rest of the thing Uh, for the turning of the devices, so we have to use some additional commutating circuit. Okay, additional circuit that is called the commutating circuit. Okay, for turning of the devices. It's a two quadrant switches which having uh, current is positive. You can see that current is positive, but voltage is negative both the direction. Okay, that direct block that voltage and first case in transistor block that voltage. It is. Voltage. So both direction voltage is there, positive as well as negative. Okay. So it's a switch on uh, state current. Okay. Switch is on state current and switch is off state voltage. Okay. In the four quadrant switches, that is most important. In four quadrant switches, you can say the switch on state current. It may be positive, sometimes it may be negative. And here you can see that's a switch off state voltage. Okay, so which is the example of that four quadrant switch normally we have observed it for the matrix converters okay so in matrix converter there is some different switching logic okay so based on the uh, based on your switching logic so uh, that current that means uh, current and voltage both can be changed okay so that's why it is called the matrix okay so matrix means you are using that switching matrix okay when the uh, when the switches will be on means there will be lot of switches are there there are lot of switches so which switch will be on of that instant which should not be on for this instant so you have to uh, prepare one truth table okay means you have to prepare one matrix of that switching logics okay so based on the switching logic so you are able to Uh, sorry you are able to uh, you are able to control the switching of that converter so what is written that usually an active switch okay usually an active switch controlled by the terminal of the c okay you know that one so active switch is mandatory because uh, in active switch you can only provide that controlling signal okay can conduct the positive and the negative on stand current okay so here so can can conduct negative positive negative current as well as positive on stand current and can block that positive and negative off state voltage so both the combination is possible okay that's why it is called the four quadrant switches because current may be positive negative voltage sometimes positive as well as negative okay so three ways of realization of four quadrant switches are there okay so you can here you can observe so after that it's the structure of the matrix converter okay so it's the structure of the c phase ac to c phase ac conversion it's a matrix of i am coming okay so here you can see the four quadrant switches are there so basically you can realize that one so it is v is there so it's a blocking voltage and plus minus it is instantaneous polarity so current is flowing 1 to 0 first so i is positive you are considering like that okay so uh, first instant you can see that uh, first instant you can see that uh, 1 to 0 is there so i current is flowing over there okay so i current is flowing from 1 to 0 but when it will be positive because you are anti parallel if you see the realizations of this switch okay it's it's a example of what it's an example of two quadrant switch with voltage uh, voltage bidirectional two quadrant switch okay you can understand this one so voltage bidirectional okay so from the characteristics is there so voltage is maybe plus maybe minus but current is always fixed okay so from this case if you reverse the same thing then what happen if you make the switch reverse then what happen 
in that case negative half you can take a negative half okay negative half so diode will be anti parallel okay so sorry diode will be reverse bias means for the uh, if you change the polarity of that uh, switches okay so positive negative so diode will be reverse bias so you can it can block the voltage but current will not flow but if you add the same thing if you make that switch reverse way and connect with the anti parallel with your device so the same switch you are connecting same switch with the diode you are connecting anti parallel with your normal configuration then what happen so it may block the positive current sorry it may uh, it may block the positive voltage as well as negative voltage similarly it may conduct for the negative voltage as well as the positive voltage and the current direction also be reverse because when you you change the polarity the current is not definitely the current is not flowing if you change the polarity but reverse configuration is there means anti parallel configuration of the same switches are there so the diode can conduct and if you have if you giving some of the control pulse to the uh, base or the controlling unit of that bjt definitely the diode may conduct so positive current if you are considering that current flowing from 1 to 0 is the positive direction in the reverse case means if that plus is change plus minus changes to the minus plus the reverse direction also current may be flowing okay so you can say like that the current direction is reverse so you can say like the negative current also may flow through this switch okay so that's why here you can check that configuration right now i think all of you are able to realize that idea okay so here you can understand that 1 to 0 okay so i is there okay i current is flowing okay so now you can check that plus minus first thing is it is plus minus so uh, when the controls oh, that means by, in diode there is no controlling unit so it's a passive switch okay it's an uncontrolled device it's a passive switch but it's an active switch that means c terminal it's your c terminal c means what it is your uh, controlling terminal okay so if there is pulse to your controlling terminal then that bjt power bjt will work so we will get some positive current over there okay but voltage is zero because it's a short circuit okay na diode is conducting transistor is conducting only some voltage drop will be there due to the presence of solid state that recombination voltage so some minimal amount of voltage drop will be there as per the internal resistance of that switch okay but you can consider it's a switching device only on condition off condition so uh, you can consider it is not working in the active region okay so linear it's not working in the linear region okay so only the switching operations are there so you can say like that there is no conduction loss over there okay so the you will get some of the current you are considering that is positive current okay now you are removing that control pulse okay of that <coughs> bjt so what happen the voltage v will be appear directly that voltage it's a positive voltage will be appear across your switch okay I, i think all of you are getting okay so positive voltage switch then what happen and you can see positive voltage there okay but uh, you can you can consider that diode okay in the second first instant when it is positive negative that diode is reverse biased so there will be no current flowing through this part okay now you are changing the polarity okay now you are changing the polarity from plus to minus okay sorry minus to plus then what happen that diode will be forward bias okay that diode will be forward bias if there is some controlling uh, so sorry 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 i am really extremely sorry that, that diode will be reverse bias so anyhow there is no current is flowing but this diode will be forward bias okay and if you give the control pulse to the base of this transistor that the controlling terminal of this transistor so definitely some of the current will be flowing from 0 to 1 so in that case you will get if the positive half positive current is 1 to 0 so plus i current is there so minus i also be there because it is in reverse direction so you can say like that then this reverse current is there so that minus i current will be there so you first half you are getting the positive one and second half you are getting the minus current so 
and the positive voltage blocking voltage you are getting okay so when the transistor blocks the voltage and when diode blocks the voltage you are getting the negative voltage diode block the voltage okay so first you can get on okay then you are make that controlling switch off okay so controlling pulse is removed then what happen if the controlling pulse is removed then uh, definitely it will not working so again it will block that voltage okay so but what will be the it will be negative voltage block that negative voltage okay so again you are giving the controlling pulse but the diode will be uh, but diode is uh, uh, that means when you are removing that block okay so the first case again it is coming you changing the polarity again diode will block so you are getting the positive voltage across that one so the reverse thing also be there okay i think all of you have realized the problem so first case for quadrant 1 so transistor block the voltage and and in quadrant 4 diode block that voltage that will be positive okay and second case you can see that diode block the voltage it's a negative voltage for the first condition in second condition transistor block that voltage that is coming on negative okay for both of the conditions has coming okay so you can say like that voltage as well as diode both are the bidirectional so bidirectional flowing of the current as well as bidirectional flowing of the voltage okay both are possible here okay so uh, i think you all will realize that problem for the condition so on okay for first con second configuration okay second configuration what is that so same thing okay so it is plus minus that voltage is there okay so you can see that anti parallel diode is there so anti parallel means body diode is connected with that transistor okay and uh, this portion is shorted with the both of the diodes so back to back so diodes are connected in back to back position okay so <coughs> so diode is connected back to back condition so now positive voltage are uh, appear so plus minus the first condition it is there okay plus minus so current will be flowing like that you can see the transistor also be connected back to back okay to npn to npn transistors are there but they are uh, both of the cases they are npn okay but they are connected you can say like that countering each other like that okay when it will be conducting but it is not conducting means when switch one transistor one is conducting transistor two is not conducting so first case what will be the path so i is flowing from this transistor okay the if the positive voltage is there means the control voltage positive control voltage is there okay so that means the the control pulse is coming to that uh, controlling unit means base okay then current will be flowing in this way then diode is there okay so that's the direction of the current flowing okay for the first case so current is flowing like that way, and it is come to the zero from 1 to 0 it is coming okay positive current okay so what will be the voltage appear across the diode so definitely the reverse voltage uh, because the positive voltage drop is appear across the diode because diode is blocking okay but here the diode is forward bias it is conducting so same voltage so you can say what is the benefit of this one the you can see the entire v voltage okay entire v voltage is appear across the diode and the transistor okay directly okay so you can say like that so both total voltages appear across the voltage so you can say like that it is positive blocking voltage okay in case of second transistor and the second diode okay now what happened same thing is appeared but you are removing that control voltage control signal of this transistor then what happened if you are removing that uh, control signal then uh, you can observe that uh, only the gate pulses are there but uh, gate there is no gate pulses so automatically it will be blocking that voltage but it will be forward by but there will be no current okay in second condition okay so first condition the current is there you can consider is positive current second in that case the diode is already forward bias okay so that active switch one you are giving some of the control pulse over there so it is conducting in second case you are removing that control pulse okay then what happens it will blocking that voltage okay so what type of voltage is blocking so total v voltage is blocking over there okay so because it is short circuit pulse so how much so you can observe some total voltage will be blocking that the transistor okay 
Also, the same voltage also appear to the transistor and that uh, second diode. Okay. So now you are changing that polarity. Okay. If you changing that polarity, then what happen? It will be reverse biased. Automatically, it will be blocking. So there is no control pulse first case. Okay. So in that case, there is first case. There is no control pulse. So though no control pulse to the active switch one, you are giving the control pulse to the active switch two. So then uh, what happen? The current direction. So current direction will be like that. Okay. So that may be your current direction in second condition. Okay. So then you can say like that both of the current will be possible both direction current is possible but uh, first case the voltage is zero okay because you can consider both of the shorted short circuited path so and the very less amount of drop is there very less amount of drop okay <coughs> then you are you, you are removing that control pulse to the second active switch which means C terminal okay then what happened there will be no current flowing through this path. Because of what? Because the transistor is of the diode is forward bus D2 diode means second case diode is forward bus, but there is no current flowing through this one. Okay, so first condition, uh, but the second uh, first diode is already reverse bus due to the terminal polarity. Okay, so I think it's also validate the conditions for the bidirectional current flowing and the bidirectional voltage appear across the switches. So I think that validate the ideas and the conditions okay now you are using the two switches okay and two diodes all the cases first two cases so you can also use the same configuration okay by using only one switch okay so there is only one switch is there okay so first condition you can say plus minus so, so you have to you need to check which diode are forward bias so that is n terminal so that diode definitely negative by reverse bias but plus minus is appear over there that diode will be forward bias again it is minus terminal plus terminal so np so it is plus so it will be reverse bias okay but here again it is for forward bias so what will be the direction of current flow current will be like that it is coming from there then these directions okay then it will be coming there okay through this switch then through the diode and finally come to the zero terminal okay so it is coming to the zero terminal okay so i think you are able to understand the direction of the current okay so it is one terminal to zero terminal only one switches you are using so minimizing the switching losses okay so first case you have giving some of the signal control signal to the base of that switch okay now you can remove the signal then what happen it will be off okay so again it will be blocking that voltage okay so v voltage will be appear that voltage can block the switch over there okay so after that what happened uh, after that same thing also be there so in second condition you can change the polarity okay if you change the polarity then uh, give some signal as a over there so you will get that current will be flow here so that diode will be forward bias okay then switch will be there okay then it will be coming from that path then it will be return back okay so it will be the direction of the second condition current so current of both of the direction current is possible as voltage blocking also be possible so these all are the examples for the four quadrant switches okay you can see now the matrix converter configuration so you are using some generalized structure of the switches okay only three phases okay so three phases we have considered ac input is there as well as ac output okay three phase ac output so in between some that's a smoothing reactor there okay and uh, and it's a load okay three phase input three phase uh, uh, input is there okay instantaneous input you can see over there plus minus instantaneous input okay and that uh, three phase output also be there in between the switches are there okay so as per the logic okay so as per the logic so all the switches will be working so three phase input as a three phase output so three switches for individual so total nine switches are there okay so nine switches are there and there are different modes are there okay so all the voltage all the voltage and the current and ac hence the four quadrant switches are required okay so requires the nine four quadrant switches because input is ac output also be ac so definitely that instantaneous polarity for instant for the positive instant which is flowing for the negative instant which current is flowing voltage is flowing that's all are there okay based on the instantaneous 
polarity. So due to the instantaneous polarity, so switching operation will be there. So based on the switching operations, okay. Uh, based on the switching operation, so you can say like that. Sorry. So based on the switching operation, so sorry, based on the switching logic, the switching operation will be uh, observed. So as per the switching operation, then you will found one big matrix. Okay. So that's why you are saying like the it's a matrix. Okay. So for which instant that will that switches are working, for which instant is not working like that. Okay. So after that we are using that uh, synchronous rectifier. Okay, so synchronous rectifier is replacing. So replacing the of uh, diode with the backward connected MOSFET. Okay, so you can say like that obtain the reduced conduction loss. Okay, so what is the motivation for using the synchronous rectifier? For what you can uh, minimizations of the conduction losses. Okay, that's why I have told you now. So why that switches are there for minimum Optimizations of the conduction losses. Okay, so that's why we are using some synchronous rectifier. So you can see over there, it's your ideal switch, conventional diode rectifier. Okay, MOSFET as synchronous rectifier. So what is the more benefit? So MOSFET is behaves like a MOSFET. Sometimes it behaves like a also diode rectifier. Okay, so both of the operation is possible over there. For using for minimizations of the conduction losses. Okay, so you know the characteristics, IV, uh, IV characteristics. So, what type of characteristics? Instantaneous characteristics, instantaneous IV characteristics. Okay, for the positive and negative instance. So, you are considering positive half, okay, and the negative half. So, instantaneous polarity you are considering, that's why it is the instantaneous IV characteristics. So, on for the reverse conductions of the MOSFET, and I is on, okay. Uh, I also both of the cases MOSFET is on. Okay, first is the reverse conduction and is the normal conduction, and it is off. So if you see that diagram is totally similar to your uh, MOSFET with body diode. Okay, so if I, if you go for that, that MOSFET with body diode. Okay, but the main problem is that voltage. That voltage. Here you can see diode is conduct, transistor is conduct. Okay, MOSFET transistor. Okay, so both of the cases you can see that uh, that's BJT and MOSFET. Okay, so but voltage is in positive arm. Okay, so but here you can see voltage is your negative side. Okay, that negative side, that's the off side. So it was there. You can see the voltage. Is positive side, but it is off condition. So what? It is off conditions for when that is blocking now. Diode, uh, sorry, that uh, rectifier is there. I'm sorry, diode is there blocking that voltage that is positive. But here the reverse thing is observed, but that voltage is negative. Okay, so you can see that voltage is negative. Okay, for the synchronous rectifier inbuilt with the MOSFET, so you are getting that voltage is reverse. Okay. So now we can replace all those things. So buck converter normally if it's a switch. So switch one is in MOSFET switch and it is a what? It is a <coughs> diode rectifier. Normal configuration. Okay. So normal buck converter configuration. It's input VG. So you can say that electrolytic uh, capacitor is there. So it's your inductor. Okay, so I here is there, so it's your load and uh, load side resistance. So buck converter with the synchronous rectifier. Okay, so here you can see the MOSFET Q. Okay, so Q2 is controlled to turn on when the diode would normally conduct. Okay, so T2 Q2 when turned on, so when diode will conduct. So it is minus. Okay, minus V. So minus plus. Okay, both of the uh, polarity is reverse. So in that case. Polarity is plus minus. So when switch is on, when MOSFET, this MOSFET is working, so it should be off because uh, first mode of operation. So energy is transferred through the MOSFET and inductor capacitor to the load side. And second configuration that MOSFET is second mode of operation. That MOSFET one is off, but MOSFET two is on. But the polarity will be reverse. Okay, so that's why that negative, that negative will be automatically coming to the positive, but the reverse thing. Okay, so semiconductor 
conduction loss can meet uh, uh, arbitrarily okay arbitrarily small by reduction of mosfet on resistance okay mosfet rd on okay so internal resistance of the mosfet is rd on useful in low voltage high current applications so it is normally useful to low voltage high current applications okay so i think you are able to understand so what is going to be applied okay so after that you can see the brief survey of the power conduct power semiconductor devices okay so it consists of uh, power diode power mosfets so bipolar junction transistors are there okay insulated gear bipolar junction transistors igbt so what are the normal uh, solid state devices we are using for that first power diode then power mosfet then vgt then igbt that is called uh, insulated gate bipolar junction transistors okay on uh, resistance versus breakdown voltage versus switching time so minority carrier and the majority carrier devices okay so all the devices are there what are the normal uh, configurations of the devices okay so here you can observe okay uh, so after that what i mean the switching realizations are the most important issue that i have already discussed but uh, that power semiconductor but the semiconductor physics okay now after that the semiconductor physics will come okay so that portion i have briefly discussed in my slides okay but the rest of the thing you have to follow the ericsson book okay so it's a very good book so you can follow that book and you can get good idea from over there and if you have any kinds of uh, if you have any kinds of uh, confusions okay so you can ask me so again i can uh, make some discussion uh, session so where we will going to be discuss okay so um, uh, here you can see the very basic brief of that power diode okay so in power diode you can see the power diode is a reverse bias current so means yeah, i have already told you na so normally pn junction diode p and n both should be there but here you can see one low doping concentrations area is there that is called n minus so mobility of the carriers okay so it is first it is reverse bias means minus connected to the p and plus connected to the n so it's a metal body so this were the metal okay so that hash line uh, not hash into that cross line portion is the metal portion okay so so first plus is given over there so plus is there means minus okay so all the negatively charged uh, negatively charged uh, molecule particles will be coming over there okay so nearer to the positive end so you can say it's a depletion region okay or the reverse bias so it's a voltage potential v is there plus minus so after using that voltage division so some of the time so that in terminal low doping condition so it will coming from e that e, e is coming from minus to plus so voltage potential is there okay so definitely that uh, across the uh, charging over there so definitely after certain time some current will be flowing from that side to the right side to left side the e so it is called reverse it is depletion region and reverse bias. okay so that breakdown voltage okay it will be there after breakdown voltage it will conduct okay it will conduct so in the minority carrier injections okay my minority carrier injections means here you can see that all the majority carriers okay that p domain the majority carrier is whole means positive portions positive charges and negative uh, side that minority carriers are the electron okay so that is attracted to the v means positive side positive term positive point of the battery and negative side of the battery is connected to the p means all the majority carrier attracted over there okay there is a vacate position so okay so in case of uh, in case of reverse after reverse bias to forward bias you can see so plus minus you are changing terminal has changing so if it is change means what happen the minor minority carriers are injected means plus is there so initially that plus is there okay then what happen then it will ripple initially it minus was there so it is attract the positive charges but after that when the plus is there so it will be ripple and it will be show that positive charge to the minus n n minus 
positions means what happened that majority carrier is injected to the likely doped area okay and similarly that negative that also coming from there so what happened that current is flowing okay from negative to positive so you can see that positive to current is flowing positive terminal to negative and charge is going electron is flowing reverse direction from n to n minus to p okay so you can get the direction of the current so the basic uh, characteristics you can observe over here the vt how much that voltage is appeared okay so here you can get get the very minimal voltage drop is there okay for the conducting condition so condition one is there or in condition one that vt is coming like reverse one so v is there okay so plus minus that v is there na so it is plus minus okay so that is reverse one first minus side is there then gradually it is increasing okay so plus terminal okay then it is conducting okay then again the same thing is repeating so first it is negative means there is no current so when it is be exactly negative to it is reach some time na so instantaneously it can go over there so when it is overcome that position definitely positive current will be there after that some very less voltage drop is there so it is there okay then fourth and fifth condition you can see the charges are in the always in the negative side so lot of charge concentration in the negative side you can see over there okay so lot of charge concentrations are there so area q word so that is called minus q word, negative charges are there so it is recovery time tr means it's a recovery time so based on the recovery time so again diode will be uh, segregated in different uh, category okay scott key diode reverse recovery diode okay so ultra uh, ultra um, sorry um, ultra fast recovery so how much recovery how fast it can overcome the recovery okay so that also depends okay so here you can see the rate of change of charge okay di dt okay that is most important so linearly it is increasing to the negative so plus side to negative so then you can see over there the recovery time okay so types of the power diode based on the recovery okay standard recovery the reverse recovery time not specified in standard of 50 to 60 hertz operation okay so standard recovery first recovery and the ultra fast recovery the reverse uh, the reverse recovery time and the recovered charge specifically intended for the converter application so first recovery that normally we are using the recovery means it is lot of negative charges there so how much packet uh, all those negative charges based on that so you are getting that first recovery so application based okay so first uh, you are using that Uh, power diode for the very fast operations like your switching converter so in that case fast recovery diode is also important okay so we have to minimize that recovery time okay. scott key diode okay so scott key diode is your a majority carrier devices okay essentially essentially not recover charge okay majority carrier devices okay so uh, recovery time is not so important model with the equilibrium iv characterized in parallel with some depletion region capacitor restricted at the low voltage few devices are block in 100 volt and more so normally scott key diode is used for reverse you have to blocking that how much maximum voltage you can restrict it to the block okay how much maximum voltage you can block with this type of diode so that is normally done by the scott key diode so details uh, can Uh, operations you can uh, follow any of the books okay so this is a very brief idea of the different types of the power diode and operations of the power diode okay so here you can see some uh, uh, tables about your different characteristics of several commercial power rectifier diode okay so what are the uh, diodes are available so fast recovery rectifiers then ultra fast recovery rectifiers and scott key rectifier so what are the different model number you can see over there so 1 and 391c so okay so maximum rated voltage how much maximum rated voltage is so part number okay rated average current means typical voltage and maximum rise uh, recovery time okay so both of the cases you can see is 400 nanosecond okay recovery time is very high voltage is uh voltage is uh, 400 volt blocking maximum rated voltage 30 ampere it can be carried so that we means topical that means forward voltage drop is there 1.1 volt but hd that uh, it having some huge voltage is 2500 volt 
okay 2.5 kilo volt but current average rating is 400 ampere and voltage is 2.2 volt and 2 microsecond the total uh, recovery time okay so mood diode is an example for the ultra fast recovery active and that is a actual use uh, in our switching converter like buck converter boost converter we are using the mood diode so okay so mood 815 okay so if you see 15 stands for 150 volt 8 stands for 8 ampere okay so i think you are able to understand 8 stands for current rating here you can see 1560 so 15 means 15 ampere okay it is a 15 ampere 60 means 600 volt okay so here you can see 120 in 100 okay rh uh, rhru 100 120 means 100 means 100 ampere 120 means 1 to 0, 0 volt okay so that blocking for our drop voltage is there so increasing of the rating drop voltage also be increased so also the recovery time is very fast okay 35 nanoseconds 16 nanoseconds 16 nanosecond okay so um, uh, then Scottky diode is normally you can see over there so low voltage okay low blocking voltage okay so rated voltage is less that is 30 volt is there first but current rating is very high 60 ampere 440 ampere so you can see over there the voltage is high current is high but rise uh, means recovery time is also very high okay but here voltage is moderately low but current is moderately high so you can see the characteristic you can compare all the characteristics you can understand so uh, the drop is also less okay so here that voltage is low but current is very high okay the scott key rectifier okay so voltage is low but the current is high so as per the definition what is the realistic to low voltage okay few device can block maximum 100 volt okay but uh, majority carrier device is based on the majority carrier so majority uh, carriers means you can see most of the carriers are conducting so high current is there so majority carrier device that's why high current current is there so here you can see 45 means 45 volt 30 means 30 volt and 60 means 60 ampere so 150 means 150 volt and 30 this 30 stands for current here 444 that stands for 440 ampere okay 60 30 means first one is ampere rating second one is voltage so you can understand from the batch number so first one is stands for ampere rating second two are stands for current voltage rating okay so i think uh, that is enough for that uh, to this class the rectifier of the diode so after that in my next class i will give very basic brief of that MOSFET switches okay so you can also do for that MOSFET switches also so um, in uh, power like power diode in if you know the structure of the power MOSFETs okay so in case of power MOSFET structure you can see the source is there source gate drain three terminals are there okay so normally gate terminal you are giving the control it's a metallic body okay you can see it's a metallic body so gate length is approaching uh, in one micron okay so you know, if you know the basic mosfet operations it's analog electronics concept okay so but power mosfet is quite different so, so again splitting okay so minus n okay low uh, doping uh, lower density doping also be there with your high uh, density doping okay so you can say like that uh, that gate terminals okay so plus is given so it is insulating positions okay so plus it will be charging over there plus is there so minus will be arise okay then uh, charges are attracting okay so then the minority majority carrier will be there based on the gate pulse okay so if you giving the gate pulse so previous this one there is no controlling unit so here you can use some controlling unit so if you remember the jfet okay jfet mosfet so you can control the total thing uh, you can control the frame resistance okay so as per the appearing of your gate pulse so also that uh, main body charges also be biased by that gate pulses okay so gate if you giving the gate pulses so that can control the speed of the charge flow through that uh, solid state devices okay this consists of the many small enhancement of the mode of parallel connected mosfets cells converting the surface of the silicon 
wafer. So silicon wafer is that so silicon wafer. Vertical current flow definitely the current will be vertically flow. N channel device is shown. Okay, so it's your N channel device. So P channel MOSFET also be observed. So in case of MOSFET, a lot of charges are there and similarly. So inherently some capacitive effects also be there. Okay, so uh, what is your deflection region? So it's your deflection region like your diode. Okay, so uh, so in diode there is no controlling terminal. Okay, so there is no gate pulse. So you are not able to control that one. So N is there. So deflection region is the dotted line. Okay, so it's like that. So it is uh, it, it is coming from that. It's coming from that deflection region. Okay, so it's look like that. Okay, so it's your deflection region. It's your den terminal, source terminal minus plus. Okay, first you are giving the reverse thing. So you are able to discuss the you are able to find out the deflection region. Okay, then uh, PN injection is uh, reverse biased is there off state voltage appear across the N minus region. Okay, so off state voltage is there N minus region. Okay, that N minus region some off state voltage is there. Then after that, uh, what you do? You make it forward one. Okay, so then uh, you can see the deflection region is there. Then the channel will be formed. Okay, so channel will be from so drain current. So current will be from from the drain current from over there to that in a, a highly doped area to lessly doped area to your source from drain to source. That is called RD on. Okay, so resistance of that path of that uh, silicon that path is called that RD on. Okay, so that's RD on in case of MOSFET. How to get that value of RD on? So you have to check the data sheet of the MOSFET. Okay, so individual MOSFET, individual RD1 you can observe. So based on the RD1 you have to select. So uh, mainly MOSFET having maximum 500 kilohertz switching frequency. Okay, so which one is suitable for your work? So MOSFET also the very costly device. Okay, IRA P450 that different uh, different I have also discussed about the, the different types of MOSFETs. Okay, so voltage current both are okay. But uh, MOSFET is the voltage control device, no? it's not the current control device. Okay, so, so definitely uh, some in, uh, voltage and resistance that RD on means D then to uh, source. Okay, so that resistance also play the very significant role. Okay, that resistance is too high means lot of conduction loss will be there. So minimization of the resistance is most important issue. So P and N junction P N minus junction is slightly reverse biased. Okay, slightly reverse biased. Okay, that's why P and N minus that P and N minus junction is slightly reverse biased. That's why the current is flowing from this way. Okay, from this portion. Okay, so it is not entering from over there. Okay, so bypassing that P path. Okay, how do bypassing due to the uh, gate voltage? Okay, now so you are giving some of the gate voltage. So that's why it is reverse biased. Positive gate voltage induces the conducting channel. So definitely positive gate voltage may cause so it will attracting. Okay. So induce the conducting channel, the drain current flow through the N minus region and conducting channel. So after giving the gate passes, so the some channel will be there. So that channel is there dotted line. Okay, so here you can see that channels are be formed. Okay, so as per the gate strength of the gate signal, the width of the channel is varying. That width of the channel is varying. So if that width is increased, so lot of current will can flow. Okay, so due to the gate pulses, but higher width means higher current flow that can damage that MOSFET because a MOSFET is the voltage control device. So input resistance should be very high. Okay, that's why that width controlling of the width also important. So MOSFET gate. Okay, so uh, should not carry lot of current. Okay, it should carry the voltage. The current should be less. An ideal MOSFET input resistance is infinite, means almost open circuited. So current is very less. So when you are designing the driver circuits, okay, so the signal is coming from the driver circuit to MOSFET. You have to incorporate. You have to put one resistance in the path because minimizations of that current flow through the gate of the MOSFET. Okay. So here you can see on uh, on resistance the total resistance of n minus region you can observe the conducting channel source and the drain contacts etc. So you can see the flowing of the current path. Okay. So then you can see like the body diode. Okay. So like that P N P N. Okay. So positive 
P is there and it is and so it's a body that consider for the synchronous conditions it is coming. So PN junctions form and the effective diode. Okay. So in the parallel with the channel, definitely you can see the channel is there. So NP is there. NP is there. So now PN. So it is the body diode. So first MOSFET is conducting through this part. Now the body diode is there. Okay. P and N. So that can anti parallel with your main conducting channel. So that is written over there in parallel with that channel. Negative drain to source voltage can be forward bias to the body diode. So negative now it is uh, you can see it is negative, negative, positive. Okay. Now if you change the polarity, then body diode will conduct the channel will not flow. So that's why it is written the negative drain to source voltage. Negative drain to source voltage. Okay. So first you can see it is positive drain to source voltage. Now if you change the polarity then to negative side. So definitely negative negative means it will be positive. I mean it's uh, forward bias. So negative get to drain to source uh, voltage can forward bias of the body diode. The diode can conduct the full MOSFET rated current. Definitely that how much current is flowing by the MOSFET similar amount of current should flow by the body diode. The diode switching speed is not optimized. The body diode is slow and QR is large. Okay, charge even the recovery time is high. So you can see over there the characteristics RDS, VDS 200 volt is now increasing. So VDS increasing means current in the ID and VGS means gate to source voltage. If you increase the gate to source voltage, you can see different VDS with the value with different value first. Increasing the VDS value means drain to source voltage. Okay, if you increasing, so you can see it is much more linear. Okay, so that's why that VDS voltage. I am telling you now, MOSFET is the voltage driven devices. So if you increase that drain to source voltage, the efficiency you can see much increases because you are getting that IDS also high. Okay, so offset first initially the offset is there. So after some value, it will be turned on. You can see that linear path. Okay, the dotted line is your linear slope. Okay, so that portion is your on state. Okay, so what is written that off state VGS get to drain source is less than the VTH. TH. VTH means threshold voltage. So minimum voltage is required to turn on the MOSFET. Okay, so it should be uh, greater. Okay, so if offset means Special voltage is greater than greater than your get driver voltage means get voltage get to source voltage. Okay, it should be greater. So when it will be on, the MOSFET will be on means VGS is greater greater than VTH. Okay, so special it will be higher than your special voltage. So MOSFET can conduct the peak current well in the excess of the average current rating the characteristics are unchanged okay so definitely after saturation it will not be changed when it will be reached to the peak hello so it should not be changed okay on the resistance as a positive temperature coefficient and easy to parallel hence easy to parallel so definitely rd on that i am telling you so it having positive temperature coefficient with the increasing of the temperature that nah, increasing okay so that's the issue so now you can see the simple MOSFET equivalent circuit. Okay, so I have told you that MOSFET having lot of charge carrying uh, plates. Okay, so that's why a lot of capacitive effect you are observing from gate to drain one capacitive that is drain and it is your gate terminal, it is your uh, source. Okay, so one capacitor, so body diode is there. So anti parallel of your drain to source, body diode is connected. So in between drain to source, some CDS means capacitor will be there because charging difference is there again get to source charging is there drain to get some charging difference is there that may cause for the capacity so how much value is there cgs 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 essentially constant means it is large and essentially constant means get to source capacitor is large and essentially constant because of what it is resistance is very high so resistance is very high in between get to source means a uh, lot of charge will be stored okay lot of charge will be stored that may get for the very high voltage appear across it so definitely cgs value will be high so now which portion is conducting g to d okay g to d is um, 
get to drain okay capacities for get to drain it is small and highly non linear and uh, intermediately value highly that c to d that c to d current is flowing over there okay so uh, definitely the charging flow on the opposite of the current flow okay so that c to d is that value is charging is very high okay that's why c d is also high and highly non linear okay so which one is constant g s in between the capacitor g and s is constant then capacitor in between g and d g and d is uh, more or less small but highly non linear but uh, capacitor uh, in between the capacitance of c d s means then to source that uh, moda intermediately intermediate in value means normally high but highly non linear okay switching time okay switching time determined by the rate of the gate driver charges and discharges of the cgs and the cgd so because gate is controlling unit so the discharging of the capacitor of cgd and cds both are deciding the get uh, switching time means switching frequency how do you decide it by the get uh, capacitor value in between the get to drain and get to source so if you want to get the very high switching frequency so the selection of the mosfet also be decided by the uh, values of the, your cgd and cgs okay so you can see that cds in terms of v vds so the value is given c0 whole divided by uh, of your 1 by uh, root under 1 plus vds by v0 that expressions are there okay directly taken from the data table data sheet of that mosfet so you should uh, go through all those portions okay so you are getting some idea so i am telling you that irf mosfet na irf type mosfet irf z48 40 in the rating of the rated max maximum voltage so it's a part number maximum voltage rated average current rd on that I i am telling na uh, on type resistance okay mosfet on resistance that is most important issue so it carry high current okay so if the high value of rd on may cause for high, huge values of uh, i square r loss because i is too high r is high means it is carrying lot of losses it may cause for lot of losses so uh, you can see ir z48 okay so rated voltage is maximum 60 and current is 50 ampere IRF 510. You can see that uh, it that that values are directly taking from the data sheet. So you are getting that RD on is also so higher voltage means RD on is high. Okay. So here the less less voltage 660 volt RD on is very less 0.018 ohm because capacitor is less. So now you can say the thousand volt may cause for very high resistance. Also the current is also less. That is 11 ampere. So first case voltage is less, current rated average current is high, RD on also low, and that is also nano nano capacitor, 110 nano capacitance. Okay, so that's there. So current also very less for high voltage means current is less, but RD on also very high. So I think from that chart you are able to understand the relation in between the different part number of that MOSFETs. Okay. so you can uh, follow that characteristic so you can understands the idea of the mosfets okay so what are the conclusions from that power mosfet section so what you are going to be concluded that majority carrier device okay the mosfet is an example of majority carrier devices that means fast switching speed so how much uh, you are how much frequency you are getting by the conventional device by the mosfet that is more important okay so we are getting very high switching frequency okay so it is near about i am telling you that 500 hertz typical uh, it is typical switching frequency 10 to hundreds of kilohertz that i am telling you na 10 to hundreds of kilohertz means near about 500 kilohertz on resistance increase rapidly rate of blocking resistance okay on resistance increasing means on resistance that is increasing means rate of blocking resistance so resistance also very really high rated voltage high means blocking resistance blocking voltage also very really high okay that's why it is in the blocking voltage less than 500 volt device uh, sorry on resistance increase means the rate of blocking voltage also very really high okay easy to drive so if you feel giving the gate pulse so you are easily to control the devices the device uh, that device choice for blocking voltage less than 500 volt 
okay so 100000 volt device also available but the useful only low power level okay that mean maximum 100 watt okay high power level why you are not using because rd1 is the very high so lot of losses will be there okay part number is selected on the basis of on resistance rather than the current rating okay so <coughs> so volt uh, actually mosfet rd1 is the most significant issue so selections of the mosfet normally useful by using that rd1 value so which having less rd1 value and which is satisfying your maximum rated voltage and current so you have to select so moderately less rd1 you have to choose okay for application of mosfet but you have to think about that how one voltage level so voltage level is very high so you should not take that mosfet okay so mosfet is normally using for high switching frequency applications okay and the rd1 should be less and the uh, application range also very limited conditions okay application power okay i am telling you the power of the application should be limited condition okay so i think that is enough for uh, today's class so another one uh, uh, another one class is required to uh, complete this section to, uh, to complete uh, to complete this topic okay so